So I wanted to go over a few more tips with you when using your Gemini. It is very different than using your Electrosurge. With your Electrosurge, it is side and end cutting. Soft tissue lasers are more end cutting. With the laser, if I try to go on the side, I'm not going to cut. I can actually bevel tissues, but it's not great for cutting. You do want to hold it more perpendicular. And if I try to move it too fast or press down too hard into the tissues, then I'm more ripping through tissues rather than allowing the laser energy to do the work. So the proper technique would be touch the tissue, press your foot pedal, and allow that laser energy to heat those molecules up to the 100 degrees Celsius. It's a very light feather touch stroke. Let the laser energy do the work for you. So remember that you want to use as little power as possible to achieve the optimal results. If you're using a very high power setting and you see charring blackened tissues, that means that you have too much power and you're going to cause thermal damage, which will be, lead to more post-operative pain and swelling. At this point, you need to turn your power setting down on your Gemini, or you need to speed the, the paint stroke a little bit faster. The optim optimal result is to have as little charring as possible so that your patients have less post-operative pain and swelling, healing time is more rapid, and you will not have gingival recession. So as you're cutting, oftentimes, depending on the tissue that you're working with, if you're removing an operculum or say you're in a procedure where you get some coagulum at the end of the tip, to keep that tip clean, if you have, you're going to have suction there. If you tap this against your suction, it should take off the coagulum that develops at the end of the fiber. Or take your foot off the foot pedal, take some gauze, and wipe that off. You do want to keep your tip nice and clean for optimal cutting efficiency.